So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you're going to hide your TV wires behind your drywall without messing with any electric. So this is going to be the easiest way for you to hide these unwanted wires. Follow along step by step because I'm going to be showing you exactly how this is done. Let's dive into it. Okay, first thing, we're going to want to unplug the TV so we can remove it from the wall. Okay, now that our TV is down, we're going to trace out a template right here on the drywall because we're going to cut directly over top of this bracket. Okay, so we have our template. We are going to put it on backwards. There's four holes at all four corners that we're going to mark. Then we're going to take our drywall saw and we're going to cut a little hole out. All right, now that this box is in, we're gonna tighten up these screws. All right, now that we have the hole in the wall, we're gonna tighten up these screws. Now here's the little flappers. I'm gonna show you exactly how these work when I tighten up this Phillips head. Just a Phillips head screwdriver, you're gonna tighten it. You see it move? When I twist this screwdriver, it goes up and it's gonna stand upright. And once I tighten it all the way, it's going to continuously stay up there so this does not get pulled out of the wall. All right, that one's pretty tight. Now let's tighten up the bottom one. Same thing. See, see the flapper right there moving? It's going to press up against the drywall on the inside. Okay, perfect. On there, nice solid, is not going anywhere. On to the next one. Okay, a little tip. You wanna make sure that your hole up top is in line at the bottom. So you wanna make sure that it's a direct shot so you can just fish your wire back there, let it drop below, and you're gonna be able to grab it. So make sure that your hole on the bottom is just above the one on top. Okay, now we're gonna mark out our bottom. Now what I like to do, I like to stay consistent with the room of where the outlets normally are. So for example, I have an outlet right here, so I'm going to put the box at this level and keeping it in mind where I made my cut at, which is directly above me. Okay, now that our second hole is marked out, we're gonna make our cut. Okay, so here's my mark out, here's my receptacle, and there is my box that I originally just cut out. So we are going to stay in line. Perfect, right here, we're gonna cut this guy out. Just like that, install onto the next part. Okay, now we're gonna drop our wire behind the wall and we're going to listen for it to come out right there. All right, now I have my wire run in the wall. It's behind the drywall. I'm gonna come down here and I'm going to look for my wire, which I just saw, it's kind of hard to see. There it is. All right, now that we have our wire ran, we're gonna put our cover plates on, which if you wanna get these cover plates, you can get these at the link below in my description. They're pretty neat. They're very easy to install, as you guys see. So uh, let's put that up. So we're gonna take our cord, we're gonna run this through, just because it's easier that way. And now we're gonna put our screws in. All right, that's in. Now we gotta do the bottom. Okay, now we're just gonna take our extension cord and it's just gonna go directly into there. All 
and there it is behind the wall installed now plug it in okay now everything is behind the drywall everything is done the only thing now we have to put our tv back on the mount and maybe clean up the floor a little bit let's do it Okay, here's a little trick. If you have a Roku Fire Stick or anything that kind of requires a USB in the back of your TV, uh, I'm going to mount this with a little bit of Velcro on top of my TV. Just like that. All right, now we're gonna plug in our TV. Now we're going to pull it through at the bottom so all this slack is down below and it's hidden behind my dresser. And there it is. No wires except at the bottom which is the dresser is going to be blocking that so we're going to push that dresser up but as you see it's all nice and neat and behind the TV. Alright guys so the finished product everything is done there is no wires shown all run behind the drywall without messing with any of the electric but as you see you cannot see anything behind the dresser it blocks it all the wire is run behind the drywall it looks nice it looks neat and it was super simple to install now if you guys enjoyed this video it would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button because i come out with diy's home repairs and life hacks on a daily basis again guys my name is chris and this is Fully Remote Lifestyle.